What's going on guys? I hope you are well. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your NCB bank account to your link app and also to connect a debit or credit card. We'll also be taking a look at the cash in, cash out and bank transfer option. Okay, so now that we are in the app, let's see how we go ahead to add your card or your NCB account. Click on the diamond looking icon to the top left of your screen. Once you click on that, click on banks and cards. Okay, as you notice, I have already connected my NCB account, a debit and a credit card. All right, so as it relates to adding a bank account for instant cashing in and out, you'll only have the option to add your NCB bank account. However, for cashing in, you'll be able to add any local debit or credit card. Okay, so to start the process of adding a bank account or card, click on the green button at the bottom that says add payment method. It's going to give you two options, bank account or card. We're going to go ahead with bank account. As you can see at the top, it says at this moment we only support adding NCB bank accounts. To add your NCB bank account, you would click on where it says National Commercial Bank. Once you do that, it's going to bring you to a next page explaining the process. After you're through reading, click on the Add Your Bank button at the bottom. It will then automatically take you to the web browser at the NCB login page. Type in your NCB username and password. Hit continue. It will then take you back to the app. Once you've successfully added your NCB bank account, it can be used to cash in, meaning you take money from your NCB account to load on the app, and cash out, meaning you withdraw money from your app to your NCB bank account, which is instant. Okay, once you're back on the banks and cards screen, you're going to do the same thing to add a card. Click on add payment method and this time you're going to choose card. It's going to ask you what type of card you want to link, whether debit or credit. Select the one of your choice. And now it's going to ask you to enter your card number. At this screen, some people become confused because at the top, the icon shows what looks like a NCB card with the NCB icon and so they think they can't add any other card. Just ignore that, you will be able to add any local debit or credit card. So type in your card number and hit continue. Once you get to the screen that's asking for the CVV security code on the back of your card, you can click the back arrow if you're not ready to cash in at that moment. I hope you are following so far. Now let's explore the cash in, cash out and bank transfer options. At the main screen, click on the diamond looking icon to the top right. If we click on cash in, you'll notice that it gives you two options bank account or card. We're going to click on bank account. As you notice, it says transfer from savings. As I've explained earlier, the cash in option is only for NCB bank account holders. And if you notice from this same screen, you can also access the cash out option as well. All you need to do is type in the dollar amount you need to cash in or out and then click the complete to cash out option at the bottom of the screen. All right. So if we take a step back and then go to the cash out option, as you can see, it gives you the option to cash out. And from the same cash out screen, you can also go right across and access the cash in function as well. Pretty simple. In this case, we would choose the third option, which is the bank transfer option. I've added two bank accounts already, a CIBC and a JN account, in which I've already sent money to. 
to add your account, you're going to click on the button at the bottom that says new beneficiary. For me, I have set up fingerprint as my security option. So it will ask me to verify my fingerprint. In your case, it may be your six digit pin or for some users, their face ID option. After you've authenticated the app, it will now present you with a list of different bank accounts. Scroll and select the one of your choice and you'll be presented with a screen asking you if it's a savings or checking account. Select the one that you need. After you've done that, it's going to ask you to enter your personal information. As you can see, your account number, the branch, your first and last name that's on the account, a nickname for the account and the option to tick if you're the owner of that account. Once you've successfully added your account, it will be available in the bank transfer option to be used to withdraw your money. All right, so bonus tip guys, for those of you who have a phone with a fingerprint reader and you want to use your fingerprint instead of the six digit pin, you're going to click on the diamond icon to the top left and go to security. Once you're in the security tab, you will be presented with three different options. Change pin, unlock with fingerprint scan. As you can see, I already have mine turned on. So this you would take to give you the option to use your fingerprint instead of your pin when going into the app all right guys that's it for today i hope this video helped you thanks for your time and be well take care